Good morning guys, and this morning you're joining me for an update, and it's finally here. It's finally arrived. I didn't think it was going to, but it's finally here. I've been waiting ages. It seems like I've been waiting for months, but it's only been over a month. I finally got my June Siphon box. Now, the rumours are, it's not looking too good for Nerdlock. Um, I tried to get onto the website the other day to find out where this thing was and it said it was down for maintenance um, the rumors are that it's going it's far of a bankruptcy and if it has it's a shame but I can't I, I'm not surprised I think they over exert I think they over what you call it to themselves I think they got a bit too greedy I think they should have stuck with what they had you know what I mean I think that's the problem is I think the next one to do it well most probably well could be Lucre the problem is you've got you've got so many different boxes now that you can get through loot crate it's you're spreading yourself too thin i think at the end of the day i think you should stick to a certain amount of boxes and that's it you know the the, the, the funniest thing about it is that when bam box was having their problems nerd block were giving them you know all this you know stick and what have you um and Bambox is still going, um, which I'm really surprised about. You know, they are still going. Um, but I think the reason they're doing so well is because they do some amazing um, expansion packs. I would love to get them, but I, well, I don't think I'd get, don't think they'd chip over here because there's been some pretty mad things. I mean, one of them, you had a Kane Hodder and you had a massive uh, machete about that big. I, there's no way that'd get through customs over here. And I think um, I heard. Uh, one of the other boxes um, was a Jason box and there was an axe in it again <coughs> I can't see that coming over here <coughs> so they've, they, they've carried on they found something that they're good at and they're sticking at it nerd block you know you think of how many blocks that nerd block have got now you know um, you know when they started there was only nerd block classic and then they had nerd. Then they had um, nerd block uh, sci-fi, no uh, horror. Then they had the um, arcade, and then they had the two junior ones, and then sci-fi came along. <coughs> you know, and and the problem is, I mean, I started with new, uh, you know, nerd block you know, way back, you know, and and when they first started, it was awesome because we were getting things that over here we wouldn't normally get and the thing is when you start when other boxes start coming out you start you know trying them out and you, you suddenly you suddenly realize that they're not the only people that can get the things that they can get for cheaper you know um a couple of boxes have started over here now and they're doing really well you know like this colossal crate um you know that's you know doing really well over here at the moment so um i can see why i think um nerd blocker uh, in, a bit, in a bit of trouble but anyway I've rambled on a bit much let's go and see what's in it I have no idea what's in here let's do it blind style like I always do and let's see what we got so on top we got a plush so I'll pull that out first <sighs> lovely wonderful it's I'm not a big fan of plushies unless they're the horror plushies um, this is just weird um, I haven't seen the film. It's from Warcraft. I haven't seen the film. I've I've heard mixed things about it. I've heard things, people say it's all right. I've heard people say it's rubbish. I'll get around to watching it one day. So that's pretty naff, to be honest. Straight out the bat. Feels like we got a couple of T-shirts. Oh, a pin. What pin? Never forget. The white horse. Okay. Oh, of course, yeah, it's, a tr it's um, Artrix, I think his name is, Atreus Horse, that is one of them sad, one of the saddest bits in, in a kids TV, TV, um, kids movie, it's Atreus Horse in the uh, swamps of sadness, that had me in floods of tears when I was a kid, and to be honest, it still gets me now. <laughs> It's heartbreaking, you know. And I think I think what makes it more heartbreaking is the fact of the music they play with it, you know. Um, let's get one. Let's get this T-shirt out. 
I see because it's old enough to make that sort of quite good. Now I've, I've seen some of the crappy T-shirts that other people have been getting, so I'm hoping I get a good one. <coughs> oh no, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Oh, I like that. That's cool. That's awesome. It's like a, a Nintendo style T-shirt look, and it's uh, Rebel Wing. You got a little BB-8 there. Look. That's a really cool T-shirt. I really like that. That's cool. I, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not unhappy with that. that. That's a really cool T-shirt. I like the design on that. That's that's really cool. Um, I really like that. So I'm happy with that. That's pretty cool. So let's have a look. Pinning T-shirt so far. What's this? We got a print. Let's see what this print is. Okay, I think we've seen this before. I haven't actually had it, but I think I've seen this before. I think it's a, it's a treasure map. I think it might be from Goonies. I think it's Goonies. They went from Goonies. Um, it was in another box um, a while ago. Let me just check. Is it? Is it? Actually, I don't know whether it is or not, actually. Gold of Fretto. It's, it's not one-eyed Willy, is it? I don't know. It might be from um, Uncharted. I don't know. Hopefully the spoiler card will show, but that's pretty cool, actually. The uh, the material is really cool. It's uh, any any idea if it's not in the spoiler card? Any idea what that's from? I mean, that's a really cool. I like that. That's a really cool item, and it's like I said, it, it's not um, it's not uh, um, paper. It's like um, plasticky. I, I like that. That's 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 pretty cool. So uh, let's take that back in its little pouch. Keep it. Uh, what do you call it? Nothing else there. there. Oh. So I'll stick it back in here for now. If I can get it in. It's a problem now, isn't it? You get it out and then you can't get it back in. Yeah, you have to excuse me. I, my, um, I've been very... Uh, my nose... My, uh, I've been having problems with my uh, my nose and what have you. Um, I do sound a bit nasal. I'm sorry about that. Um, I've been having a few problems with my... Uh, as you, as you, as I don't know what I've said before. But I, I suffer with um, sleep apnea. And I haven't been having a very good night's sleep. Um, the mask I was wearing was pretty pretty constructive and what have you. So I had an appointment yesterday. Uh, and they've given me a brand new mask. Um, so I've got to get used to that now. Um, so I'm a little bit bunged up. I, I sound, I, if I sound like I'm more bunged up, I, I, I am. I'm, you know, don't, I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> so that's pretty cool. So let's have a look what else we got. What's this thing in bubble wrap? Let's get this thing out of bubble wrap. Oh, it's a Star Trek item. Like Star Trek? Like me some Star Trek? Oh, it's a one of them water bottles. One of the water bottles. Collapsible water bottles. Star Trek one. Stands, folds, freezable, BPA free. Star Trek, the original series. So we got the original NC, N, N, blah, 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 US Enterprise NCC 1701. It's one of them uh, water bottles. It's quite a good design. I like the design on it, actually. That's pretty cool. I like the design on it. It stands when it's filled. It's reusable, freezable, secure leak proof lid, easy to up, durable. Da -da. Cool. So yeah, so that's pretty cool. That's a that's a you know different item. It's a practical item at the end of the day. You know what I mean? You can use it. I think we've got a book and a box. So let me get the box first. I'll save the book to last. And we have Hobbiton Meadow Mint. What?
Okay, uh, yeah, Hobbiton Meadow Mint is a popular drink in the shower at weddings and parties. Hot tea, basically. Lovely. Okay. So, yeah, we've got, which is the randomest thing I've ever seen in a box, Hobbiton Mid Meadow Mint Tea. Now, see, I like my, I like my tea, but I prefer my, you know, my, my proper tea, you know, not my bloody peppermint. I mean, it's, the iced tea sounds quite nice. I mean, that'd be quite nice. You know? Trying the, trying the iced tea version would be nice, but I'm not a big fan of uh, peppermint tea. And then we got a book. And it's a Star Trek book. Oh, it's a Starfleet logbook. Find out Find out if you have what it takes to rise to the ranks of Starfleet. That's cool. Welcome aboard the USS Enterprise, the final ship in all Starfleet. This logbook is designed to complete your training as an officer aboard this ship. There are lots of activities which will prepare you to assume command of the starship of your own. Along the way, you'll complete personal log entries recording your thoughts, adventures and experiences as you rise through the ranks. The crew of the Enterprise will accompany you on each mission and activity to make sure you're successful in, as possible. James Tiberius Kirk, Captain USS Enterprise. So it's it's got like Starfleet Command, a little bit of background on it. You gotta put down what you you know. It is pretty cool actually. It's like uh, you know. Welcome to Starfleet Clan. Choose your favourite classes from the list below. So that's what the book looks like. And then inside you've got bits and pieces in here, like you you know, you'd fill out if you were like, you know, joining Starfleet. That's pretty cool. <sighs> to be successful Starfleet Academy or any other school, a person needs a lot of support from family. Write a thank you note for someone who has helped you in school. So it's more, more, I'd say, you know, I'd say it's more for kids, really. Yeah, that's quite good. Starfleet quiz. Who was the first captain of the USS Enterprise? NC once it was, is it Jonathan Archer, Robert April, Christopher Pike, or James T. Kirk? Well, that's that's easy. That's uh, Christopher Pike. True or false? Spike, Spock was the first Vulcan to serve on Starfleet. Yes, true. I'd say that's true. How many uh, how many crew members serve aboard the Enterprise NCC one seven oh one? Oh god I don't know. hundred, two hundred and thirty-six, four hundred and thirty, or a thousand. I'll say four hundred and thirty. What alien race made first contact with the humans? Vulcans, Klingons, Romulans or Tribbles? Well that's the Vulcans. True or false, the Enterprise is armed with quantum torpedoes. Yes, true. I think that's true. True or false, the Klingon and Romulan empires are members of the Federation. That's false. Look. They're not. The gym. The swole. Big in the gym. What? <laughs> See you later. See you later, mate. The headquarters of the United Federation planet is, also, is found on what planet? Tower 6, Kronos, uh, set, Seti Alpha 5, that's Earth. Which musical instrument does Spock know how to play? Piano, Vulcan, Lute, Ukulele, and or in a uh, Vulcan Lute, Lute, I think. What species is found on the planet Neuald? Gorn, Mugato, Melchions, all the other let's say the Gorn. And uh, what piece of equipment did Dr. McCoy leave behind on Sigma, Sigma to 2? Tricorder, communicator, phaser, or medical scanner? Tricorder. Uh huh. So, yeah, uh, have you got the answers? Here we go, the answer. So let's have a look. So, yeah, let's let's see how well I did. Let's see how well I did. Starfleet quiz. So one was B. What? Robin April. Who the bloody hell is Robin April? I thought it was uh, Christopher Pike. Okay. Two is F. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Eighteen and nineteen. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ah, 2F, false. No, so it wasn't. I got that wrong. That's two wrong so far. I did really well there, didn't I? 3C. I got that right. Yep, cool. So 4 is A. Yep, I got that one right. 5 is F. Yep, I got that right. 6 is F. That's right as well. So, uh, Enterprise 
is oh no I said true so that's wrong so I'm going to go another wrong I'm not doing very well am I uh, that one is D yep got that one right uh, 8 is B yep got that one right 9 is B no got that one wrong and 10 is B I got that one wrong so I didn't do very well there oh well so yeah so we're going to have we got the spoiler thing we haven't got a spoiler thing well, that sucks so for my last for the last ever sci fan box let's do a recap what we got we got the starfleet logbook which is okay you know that says that word that's worth nine dollars there so okay we got the hobbiton tea which is really strange it's a very strange um thing to put in the box but you know hey ho um we got the really cool t-shirt which i really like the t-shirt I really like the T-shirt. I I think that's my that's my favorite. Oh, that and the uh, the amazing pin from Neverending Story, which is amazing. I love that pin. That's a cool pin. We got the map, which is the treasure map, which I don't know what it's from because it doesn't say is it there in there. It just says treasure map. So if anybody knows what the treasure map is, let me know in the comments below because I have no idea. And then we got this crappy uh, crappy plush, which is rubbish. Don't like that. And then we got the uh, the bottle. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items, which is about about right, really. I mean, I'm, 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 to be honest, I'm a little bit annoyed with that because, you know, um, at the end of the day, you know, I've had to wait, you know, nearly two months for this bloody box. So, you know, they could have could have thrown another t-shirt, an extra t-shirt in or something. You know what I mean? To, 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 to say sorry but I suppose if they are going out of business and you know the last thing they want to you know the last thing they want to you know worry about is making sure everybody gets what they, you know everybody gets what thinking so yeah so that's my last ever uh, I'm supposed to be the card holder in there as well I think other card holder Maybe they took the card all around, put the uh, treasure map because the treasure map's not on there. So yeah, that's that's my final ever soy fan. Um, and like I said, with with the, with the rumors flying around, even whether they're going to be still here anymore. So uh, yeah, let me know in the description below what, what your favorite item was. Like I said, I I really like the pin, and I really like the the shirt. Um, the other stuff is it's all right it's not you know it's not amazing but it's, it's all right so um drop a like on the video if you like this video that really helps the channel out um check out my other videos you know there might be something you like and if you do subscribe that'd be awesome um if you are subscribed or you do decide to subscribe hit that little bell so i'll notify you when my next video is available anyway I'm, I'm going to go and I will catch you all on the flip side. Wiley out. See you later guys.